The following is an exclusive presentation of MTN, the official broadcast partner of the Big Sky Conference. From MTN Sports, this is Big Sky Conference football. Cal Poly versus Montana. Welcome to Washington Grizzly Stadium along the banks of the Clark Fork River. It's going to be a chilly night under the lights. Big Sky Conference football in prime time as the Montana Grizzlies look to snap a three-game losing streak hosting the Cal Poly Mustangs, a team still looking for their big first conference win. Jay Cohn along with Marty Morningweg and the MTN sports team again here tonight. And Marty, it's good to be back, but uh, it's cold. What do you expect? The Grizzlies need a win. It's cold. It's a must win, Jay. The playoffs start tonight for the Grizz. They cannot afford to stub their toe. And they've stubbed their toe in the last three games in a row. But some good news as quarterback Lucas Johnson, we're told, is going to play tonight. He's been sitting out for the last two games after that hit right there against Sac State a couple of weekends ago. He brings a little juice to this offense. Yeah, a little juice. You're right, Jay. A little dynamic ability in the Grizz offense. Need that right now tonight against the Mustangs. And the Grizz will look for a good defensive showing as well with Justin Ford, the senior cornerback. He's on the Buck Buchanan watch list. He's going to be tested. They're going to throw the ball against this uh, defense tonight. I wouldn't throw it to Justin Ford's side, though. The rest of the defense, they're going to have their hands full. Cal Poly needs more than a handful of big plays to stay in this ball game tonight. Let's talk about Cal Poly junior quarterback Spencer Brash averaging 350 more yards per game. There's his latest stats against uh, UC Davis last weekend. His favorite target is Chris Coleman. That's a good twosome. The ball will be in the air and maybe deep down the field all night tonight against the Grizz defense. Grizzly replay kicks off with the first quarter right after this. Let's get things started with the first quarter on Grizzly replay. The stadium, Jay Cohen, along with Marty Morningweg. We're so happy you can join us here on the MTN Network. We're on the CBS across the state of Montana and, of course, ESPN+. Plus. Marty, we said this is really a must-win for both of these teams. Single back in the backfield. Grizzlies first play from scrimmage. Fake the handoff to Nick Osmo, and now Johnson's going to run it. Has all kinds of room across the 20, across the 30, and out of bounds at around the 33-yard line. That's the element he brings to this offense. Yeah, 114 total yards last week. In motion, that's Junior Bergen on the fly sweep. He has the handoff with a blocker. Osmo gets a block, and Bergen crosses the 40 out to the 43-yard line. Here tonight. For the give up the middle to Osmo, he has some running room, breaks a tackle across the 45, gets enough for the first down, he lands right in the middle of the big grizzly in the middle of the field. Yeah, that was a big third and two run. Two receivers split out here to the near side, Keelan White in motion. Johnson quickly finds Malik Flowers, breaks the tackle across the 40, good for first down yardage. First and 10, Grizzlies now inside the Mustang 40-yard line, Johnson. Throws across the middle, has a wide open! And the Grizzlies, is he in? It is! After you, really on the field, the runner was down at the one yard line. It'll be yeah. first and goal at the one. Right. First and goal, Nick Osmo in the backfield, and Johnson keeps it himself, and that time, he's in for the Grizzly touchdown. And he went up and over, Jay, up and over, I love it. Big athletic quarterback. And he just jumped right over the top in the A-gap. Spencer Brash, empty backfield. Receiver goes in motion. Brash gets some pass and is picked up by the Grizzlies. Ah, ah. Marcus Wellnell on the interception step right in front of the receiver. Well now knew what was coming. They threw too many of these wide receiver quick screens. That was another one. And well now he just read it and beat him to the ball. Yeah, up in the mountains, those skiers are getting excited. Lucas Johnson across the middle, complete. And that's Aaron Fonts with the first down across the 20, down to the 16. Nick Osmo in the backfield. He'll get the handoff from Johnson across down to the 15. Might have enough for the first down. Looks like he did from here. David Meyer again in on the stop for Cal Poly. David Meyer came in with 60 tackles leading the Mustangs defense to this point. Johnson with the fake 
Pitch. He's got a wide open receiver. Mitch Roberts in the end zone. That is a touchdown for the Montana Grizzlies. Jay, we saw him working that play on Thursday. That's a keeper with a throwback. And the receiver hides himself down, down tight to the lineman. You can see our end zone camera is having a tough time. The putter, Jesse Ehrlich, gets the ball away. Called in by Junior Bergen right at the 42-yard line. He wasn't down. He wasn't down. The officials have not called him down. He's a free in the, at the 50, still across, open in the field at 30 down to the 22-yard line. So he kind of skated on the snowy field and did not go down. The official was right on the spot and did not call him down. I was here that game. It was an unhappy group leaving the stadium. Pass to Junior Bergen. And he has first down yardage for the Grizzly offense across the 40 to the 42. That's catching or uh, running with the football. Nick Osmo has the first down yardage, crosses the 45 down to the 43 yard line. <laughs> Osmo in the backfield, gets the handoff, breaks into the open. He has one man to beat on a nice open field tackle down there. Save perhaps a touchdown as Nick Osmo crosses the 25 down. Get Johnson drops straight back. Has a man. And he's got Cole Grossman, the tight end, across the middle. And breaks a tackle, and he's down. I'm thinking that's the 10-yard line, but I can't really see what the yard lines are now. And the seconds tick off here to mark the end of the first quarter. Well, it's been a good quarter for the Grizzlies. Cal Poly trying to get untracked here in the snow. Grizzlies 14, Cal Poly nothing as the snow falls at Washington Grizzlies. The fans enjoying it. I think both teams are going to enjoy it before the night is out. You're watching Big Sky Conference football on MTN. Now, here's the second quarter on Grizzly Replay. So here we are. They're shoveling from the goal line. Johnson gets the snap, and he steps out of a would-be tackle and goes out of bounds at the 10. He was looking for Malik Flowers or perhaps Roberts in the end zone, but was uh, advised to get out of there quickly. Yep, Nico Ramos. He'll be putting the, put the ball right at about the 15-yard line, so it's a 25-yard field goal attempt. And it's good. So Roberts had the hold down, and Ramos splits the uprights for Montana. Here's Spencer Brash. Tries that flanker screen and hit for a loss with a great tackle over there. Jaden Dawson smelled that coming. How far the Cal Poly has to go for the first down. Spencer Brash going to be sacked in the backfield. The Grizzlies all over. That's Eli Alford. Turns it over, and the Grizzlies have it in business. Now at the 47-yard line, and the pass is complete out to a wide open. That's Nick Osmo going down the sidelines. Nice pass and run by Nick Osmo off of Lucas Johnson. David Meyer again in on the stop for the Mustangs. They were looking forward to this game and watching Nick get some chances on offense. Here's Lucas Johnson finds Mitch Roberts alone inside the 10, down over the 5 to the 3-yard line. Your offense, it's a play call. Oh. Well, now they're going to pitch it to Osmo, who will just waltz into the end zone. Great yeah. play call. Yeah, that was a, a sort of a fake sneak, right, to get the end man on line of scrimmage to come down and then just to pitch, and it was wide open, green grass, and a walk-in to the end zone by Osmo. Nick Osmo having a good game, cashing that in from two yards out. It's 24 nothing. 9.07 left. You see the scoreboard. And here's Spencer Brash, the give in the backfield. And the running back going nowhere. Big team tackle. Harper, nowhere to run that time. Spencer Brash trying to get anything going on offense here for the Mustangs. He gives it to Harper again, who's again hit in the backfield. That looks like one of those Grizzly linebackers, Braxton Hill. That's a big factor for the Grizzlies defense, but the rest of the linebackers have really stepped up, at least so far in this game. Brash going to run it this time. He's up around the 30, and big hit. Big hit about the 32-yard line. That was Braxton Hill. Better than most college quarterbacks when he was in the eighth grade. And what a game he's calling here tonight. Big running play here by Marcus Knight, who rumbles across the... 40 down to close to the 35-yard line. 
Johnson out of the pistol. Hands it to Marcus Knight, who has running room across the 30. Gain of five, and he gets some help from his teammates. <laughs> that it's, offensive it's okay line. To push from the back. Yeah, that offensive line for the Grizzlies is doing some damage. Yeah. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Lucas Johnson, little screen pass, has Osmo with first down yardage, out of bounds now, down around the 20. Nice screen pass. We haven't seen that much. That's Xavier Harris that goes in motion. Johnson looks at him. Changes his mind. Now he's going to run it. Throws and completes it. Down around the goal line. In for the score. Lucas Johnson. That's Xavier Harris. There's several things that went on there, Jay. What great protection. Mustangs have 77 yards of offense so far in the game. And the give in the backfield is going nowhere. Yeah, Jay, it looks like Cal Poly is having one of those games on offense. Moving from Cal, where he was the offensive coordinator. Brash, under pressure, finds his man. But the ball comes out, it was not complete. Trailing him, and we call that a slider. Here we go, big play, fourth and three. Throwing it deep, out of bounds, incomplete. Well, that'll bring us up to halftime with the score. 31-0 Montana at half. Take coverage of the Grizz with you. Download our app for your favorite mobile device today. Time for the third quarter on Grizzly Replay. Let it snow, let it snow inside Washington Grizzly Stadium. Jay Cohn along with Marty Morningweg and our MTN sports crew. Now those guys are brave. It's not that cold out right now. At least it doesn't feel bone chilling. 33 degrees according to John Stepanek's uh, smartwatch. But I'll tell you, the Cal Poly Mustangs, if they wanted to play in snow, they came to the right place. 31 to nothing at halftime. The last time Cal Poly was shut out was back in 2017 against Northern Colorado. Brings up second and 10. Lucas Johnson getting his first taste, perhaps, of snowball. And here's Nick Osmo, loose at the 50. One man, and he's taken down at the 40. He's having a career game here. Nick Osmo broke a tackle, broke to the outside, and almost took it the full way. Lucas Johnson in the pistol. Looks and finds. Johnson's pass complete to Ryan that's Simpson. Matt, I know, that's uh, Ryan Simpson again. Big 6'6", six, six, Ryan Simpson. The Cal Poly defense once again. I'm just laughing at our end zone camera. You couldn't hardly see anything there. <laughs> Here's another run play. Nick Osmo still churning away down inside near the 25, the 23 yard line. In this game. This time it's Johnson throwing and complete. Ryan Simpson in the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Touchdown to the big man. And I love Montana's aggressiveness. Now, Jay, uh, it's going to be, what, 38 to nothing early in the third. Now Bobby Howe and his staff are likely thinking about all of the different scenarios. Grizz defense seeing if they can get him to put it up for grabs. Justin Ford had it and just dropped it. Moved right into the pattern there, Marty. Good stuff there, Kyle. Good for Cal Poly. Nick Osmo continues his awesome game as he... Gets a gain of nine across the 50 down to the 42 yard line. If they keep Nick Osmo in, he may rush for 200 yards by himself. Lucas Johnson with the two set in the backfield. Give to Osmo again. He's breaking into the open. <laughs> I think it's over the 30, yeah, down to the 26 yard line. Those 502 yards of offense for the Grizzlies already. Here's Nick Osmo again, still on his feet. Oh, I thought he might have a chance to break another one. And here goes Osmo again. He might break another one at the five. Another touchdown for Nick Osmo and the Montana Grizzlies. You know, it's kind of like a good basketball player. He's going to shoot till he gets hot. And when he gets hot, he keeps shooting. That's what the Grizz are doing with Nick Osmo. They're just giving him the football. And he just went over 200 yards. We said he was going to have 200. He has 206, his second touchdown of the game. We're watching the clock tick down to the end of the third quarter. Grizzlies huddle up. They're enjoying themselves. 44 to nothing as we break. Fourth quarter coming up.
There's more coverage of the Grizzlies online anytime at montanasports.com. Get ready for the fourth quarter on Grizzly Replay. To be part of a great university and, and really enjoyed. This is Isaiah Childs in the backfield for the Grizzlies. Breaking loose. He's going to score. Montana adding to the score. And that's Isaiah Childs. His first touchdown, I believe, of the season. Childs break loose. And the give to Childs again up the middle. Breaks it. Good enough for the first down and then some. Some uh, work to do in the thought process that we are building this team. Chris Brown on the run. That was a broken play, Jay. And Chris Brown just took it around the right end and, and got positive yards on it. Here's Isaiah Childs in the backfield. Gets the handoff. Gets up close. Can he break the tackle? Just shy of the end zone. So apparently Childs wasn't banged up too bad. Maybe he just knocked the wind out of himself in the... Can he get another touchdown? Stopped right at the goal line. Man, why they marked it like two inches from the goal line. Oh, oh they, they called it. And that's another Montana touchdown. Isaiah Childs off the bench. That's his second straight trip into the end zone. Good for that young man. So losing three straight. If you can turn it into a positive, more power to you. It's not something the Grizzlies want to repeat, though. I know that much. Well, there's the clock still ticking down the final 20 seconds. Coach Howe, Coach Baldwin, mid, Mead in midfield. They know each other well. And I think we can uh, assume the player of the game, Nick Osmo, 26 carries, 221 yards and two touchdowns. He also caught some passing. He had uh, several yards passing as well, receiving, I should say. Osmo had 39 yards receiving, so well-deserved. Nick Osmo is our star of the game.